remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon to never miss an update from Dr. Mike Baby Care Channel. Your Pregnancy Week 37 Congratulations on officially becoming 37 weeks pregnant. It's a big accomplishment to make it this far. Each passing day brings you one step closer to finally meeting your little one. Keep in mind that although you're super close to your due date, your pregnancy is still considered to be in the early term stage at this point. Your baby will be putting the finishing touches on vital skills like sucking and swallowing while your body may be giving you signs that it's preparing for labor and delivery. Your baby's development at 37 weeks. At 37 weeks, your baby is about the size of a canary melon. If your baby were born this week, he'd still be early term but will be full term by week 39. He's practicing for his grand entrance by inhaling and exhaling amniotic fluid, blinking and turning from side to side. Your baby has developed more dexterity in his fingers. He can now grasp onto smaller objects, like a toe or his nose. At this point, baby is too big to do much kicking and punching. You're more likely to feel her stretching, rolling, twisting, and turning as it gets more crowded in there. Your uterine wall continues to stretch out, becoming thinner and letting more light through as baby, hopefully, starts to adjust to a more regular schedule. 37 Weeks Pregnant Symptoms For week 37, your symptoms this late in pregnancy could be many familiar ones, including, swelling in your extremities, difficulty sleeping, Braxton Hicks contractions, etc. Here are some of the other symptoms you may be experiencing. Vaginal discharge or spotting. You might notice an increase in vaginal discharge. If you see some bloody show, mucus tinged with a tiny amount of blood, in the toilet or in your undies, labor is probably a few days away or less. If you have heavier spotting or bleeding, call your doctor or midwife immediately. Snoring. This one might not trouble you as much as your partner. Most moms-to-be go through some breathing changes during pregnancy thanks to hormonal changes, and toward the end, some snoring is not uncommon as the mucous membranes in your nasal passages tend to dry out. Make sure you're staying hydrated, and use a humidifier in your bedroom if your partner starts to complain about your snoring. Nausea An upset stomach is pretty typical almost any time during pregnancy. But now that you're so close to your due date, it could be a sign you'll go into labor soon. If your nausea is severe, if you're vomiting, especially, tell your OB so they can rule out illness or a pregnancy complication such as HELLP or preeclampsia. Aside from all the physical symptoms you're experiencing, there may be a lot of emotional changes going on as well. Excitement, fear, anticipation, and even anxiety may begin to arise as you mentally prepare for this little human's entrance to the world. You may find yourself cleaning, organizing, washing, and scrubbing, all part of nesting. Baby's arrival is just around the corner, so who can blame you for wanting to be prepared? Pregnancy Checklist at 37 Weeks Pregnant Finalize your baby's nursery and get any baby essentials you haven't bought yet. Consider getting a waterproof sheet to protect your mattress in case your water happens to break while you're asleep. If you see breastfeeding or pumping in your future, make sure you have several quality nursing bras. Consider setting up a comfortable feeding station in your baby's nursery or elsewhere in your home. Learn the signs of postpartum depression and how to cope with them. Be sure to go over your birth plan with your doctor and ask about policies regarding induction, pain medication, emergency caesareans, delivery room rules, who is allowed in, and anything else you would like to be briefed on. Make sure you have all the answers you want, because this may be your last appointment before giving birth. You made it to week 37 of pregnancy, and for that, you should be proud. By this point, baby is feeling crowded in there and each passing day brings him closer to his big debut. The urge to clean, organize, and get all ready for a newborn is probably very strong, but don't forget to put your feet up and relax a little before baby comes. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.